We are the brand new Halter Technology Centre. So if you're thinking about automation, this is where to come. But we've clobbered, I can use the word clobbered, someone who is absolutely passionate about robots. Steve. Yes. How long have you been in the game? Oh, a long time now, but specialising in robots for just over two and a half years now. Okay, so you definitely know your stuff, and we can tell by that by the passion that's coming out about, well, watch this video, basically. So first of all, I'm thinking about automation. Will one of these ro what machines will these robots fit, fit on? You name the machine, we'll put it on it for you. And uh, make it profitable. Uh, so, any, so any machine tool, basically? Any machine tool you can think of. Okay, and controls, any, any issues Doesn't with Fanuc, matter. Siemens, Heidenheim? Doesn't matter at all. Okay. You name it. We'll put it on it for you. Okay. What about installation? So, is it, you know, is my machine going to be running? You know, am I going to lose a week's worth of work? Usually, plan on a week because if we've got to put a robot on, we need to put an auto door on. Yeah. Those can be quite awkward to fit sometimes. So, yeah, we like to plan okay. a week if we can get it done in three days. Great. Yeah. So, well, we'll look at three days, but a week just to be in a safe spot. Yes. Okay. I've got some notes here though. Now, this robot arm, I'm thinking normally they're attached to the floor. What's going on here? Well, Let's have a with the Halter system, we can actually move between machines. So we are not dedicated to one machine. When you place the order with us, you tell us how many machines we're going to go on to. Then when we come to do the installation, we install onto all the machines you want. Okay. With the simplicity of a fallet truck, in, undo three bolts, unplug it, move it to the next machine, three bolts, plug, away you go. Sounds simple. And then integrating with the machine, just plug it straight in the machine and it's done. Yes, and because we do all the hard work for you right. when we do the installation. Okay, next thing then, automation. I want to get you know, a great return on investment, improve my, my efficiency, um, but I've never actually programmed the robot. Well, that's the beauty with the Halter system. You okay. don't need any prior knowledge. So if we get onto our smart control and we call up the program we're running, you have basic steps that you have to fill in, like the component name or description, whatever you want to call it. Is it round, prismatic, square, what is it? Just tick the shape. Simple diameter and height, that's all we need to know. Simple. That is the raw component, then the machine component. Okay, so ex really, really simple basically. So don't worry about pro programming, things like that. Nope. I notice here, just looking around here though, when I'm thinking, having seen robot arms on machine tools before, and more machine shop, bit tight for space, but this area here. Because we use a scanner field, it means it keeps us nice and compact. Right. We can reduce it even more if we want to go the fence route. Right. Some customers want us to do that so that you know, space is up of an optimum, then the fence get you even smaller. So we give customers the option of which they want to go. Okay, I just want to test out as well then. So with this scanner, yes. just go in there. Oh, got the, got the amber light going on there. So that will, what happens there with the amber light? Amber light means it cuts the speed down to 10% of full value. Okay, and then I'm assuming the red light? That, that just stops it, that's a controlled stop. There you go, it's stopped. Okay, well it makes sense then. While we're here with a controlled stop, yep. I'm looking at the robot arm, gripper, you know, I, I don't, I haven't heard, if I haven't heard of Halter, yep. what confidence have I got in these components? All the components that we use at Halter are all top grade. So the grippers we use are shunk, uh, we use Siemens control gear, we use Telemechanique, everything is yep. top notch. We last don't but, scrimp. Last but not least, the fan up, it, robot arm. Oh yes, without any shadow of a doubt, it's so well made that they're great. The problems we get are next to zero. Okay, now what I want to do is move on to the next machine. And while we're doing that, I noticed the lights here, that was green while, yep. while it was running. It's now red, obviously, because it stopped. Yes. This is different now, what's happening here? This is our stacker system, so it's for much higher volume components. Um, if we just move round, we can see the stacks of components here. Um, so basically, you know, in a production environment, all, that, all those, there's 12 stacks there, but you have to leave one empty for the finished components. Although the 11 would be full of components and you would just leave this running and running and running. Okay, so that light is indicating it's near the end of the, the full batch run. Yes, it's getting close to the end of the component run. Okay, yeah. now, what else I noticed, that's got stackers systems there, but we're also working around here, the this big the, reveal. This is the universal grid system. So, obviously it won't take quite so many components, oh. um, but what we do is when we go into initial discussions with the customer, we find out what he wants. What is his ultimate goal? Yep. You know, a lot of components you can't run unmanned. You need customer intervention, tips, wear, et cetera, et cetera. So 
you know, we go through that and then we will get the best possible solution for the customer. Okay. Now, notice as well, these components are relatively flat, but you can, you can raise these, is that oh, right? Yes, yes, yes. The grids on this one, because it's a thin component, it made sense for me just to use a single grid. But if it's a taller component, you put two grids, and by just moving the pin up and down, you can alter the height. Right. So you keep stability of the component. That's fantastic. So again, basically, what I'm getting here is everything is exceptionally simple. Yes, that's, okay. that's the key word. Don't make it too difficult. Right. Somebody will make a mistake, and it's costly. Now, what I want to do as well, then, working con our cameraman's going to have to keep up the sorry, Chris, but... Again, we're going to open this door. That machine, well, when we had this one, that enables you to load while the machine is working? Correct, so the robot will keep running. With the stacker system, because you're accessing the area, yep. then it will stop the robot dead. Okay, but I'm looking at these billets here. Yep. How easy is it to change these stackers in very, terms of very diameter? simple, because if we just grab the magic spanner, there is the spanner, goes over the peg like so, and then you can just adjust the diameter to suit. I just grab a component, so I can just reset that back. You don't have to be that accurate with it. There we are, that's it, that's set. Brilliant, job done. Right, very, coming to the end of the, end of the video, a couple of quick things in terms of diameter, size of component, and actually size of table in terms of weight. Weight on the stacker is 1,250 kilos. On the universal with the grid plates, that's 750 kilos. Maximum diameter component on the stacker is 230 millimeters. Oh, I'll put you to test it. What about the robot arm? How much will that take? This particular arm we've got here is a 20 kilo arm. So obviously divide that by two because you've got two grippers. Right. So it's 10 kilo aside. On the universal there, we've got a 35 kilo arm. We are now going even bigger with robots. So we're increasing our range quite considerably. So yeah. Steve. Clearly passionate about robots, fantastic, and it is automation made simple. So that is Halter Technology Centre. Thank you very much. Thank you.